I want to read a part of the letter that you posted on your Instagram account in December 2020, okay? Yeah. And you wrote, hi, friends. I want to share with you that I am trans. My pronouns are he, they, and my name is Elliot. I feel lucky to be writing this, to be here, to have arrived at this place in my life. I feel overwhelming gratitude for the incredible people who have supported me along this journey. I can't begin to express how remarkable it feels to finally love who I am enough to pursue my authentic self. So can you describe the weeks and the months and maybe even the years that led up to you posting that letter? What were the factors that helped you make that monumental decision? Goodness. Um, I mean, definitely, <laughs> uh, obviously quite the journey. I'd say leading up to it and the months before, what I really had was a moment for myself um, where, and this is obviously quite a, a privileged thing to say, but I wasn't working um, because of the the current situation we're in with the pandemic. And um, I was up in Nova Scotia and I spent a lot of time just by myself. Um, and I think it really allowed me sort of separating from, you know, that world, so to speak, uh, for a moment um, to really get to sit with myself and certain um, aspects that I had never given myself the opportunity to do. And I think that was definitely on purpose to a degree, uh -huh. even though I wasn't necessarily aware of it, just, you know, avoiding so much in a way. The busyness of life allowed and has allowed most people to not to look inward. And so what you're sharing is, is that you had this time alone and were, were you physically alone? I was pretty alone in Nova Scotia. Yeah. Like in <laughs> okay. out, I mean, seeing people of course too, but really purposefully was, is probably the first time in my life where I really felt okay and comfortable alone. It used to just be mm -hmm. incredibly difficult for me to even just sort of sit with myself. Um, uh -huh. And this was a time where that was possible and really uh, relax and let my body relax. I think I realized getting to that space and, and getting surrounded by nature more, it yeah. almost was like steps into relaxation. It was like I would notice my body sort of go into that space more and more. And I think on some level, it probably allowed me to connect to my body in a way that I, I could really fully listen to myself. And I think for so long, I didn't even have a concept of what I was feeling, you know?